I do the quickest makeup routine. It's not even, I don't even, I wouldn't even call it a routine because literally I apply one product. I need to organize this room. Let me see. I wish, I, oh, it smells so wrong. Yeah, yeah. Baby, come and talk to me. You're the scene. Trying to show you love. It's that TLC. You're my favorite song. You're my favorite. Welcome back. My name is Alexis. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, the last few clips you've seen were like, I believe me at the gym and then I can't remember what else I was doing. But anyway, I just got home from work, literally came home, had to leave and um, we went to Best Buy and guess what I got? Can you even guess? Guess. <laughs> I got a new MacBook Pro. <laughs> I'm so happy, y'all. Let me just tell y'all, I have been struggling, 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 really trying to get content up because the computer that I was using was just giving me so many issues with like being really filled up with not enough space and memory. So today I went and finally just said, forget it, purchase it. I feel like, you know, like if you're really serious about something, like I am serious about this channel, you invest in yourself and I'm really big on that. So for me, it's nothing for me to take a leap and just invest in myself. I know you're like, girl, you only got like three some subscribers, but it don't matter though. One day this channel is gonna have a lot of people on it and then that's all that matters. <laughs> So don't come for me the people <laughs> anyway i'm just saying but i'm just saying like i'm really big on that so that's why i decided to like get me one my computer was making me struggle it was making me not be able to post content cutting my content down so much because of the storage issue so this one is fully loaded i got tons of memory on it i paid the extra price to get the tons of memory on it so i'm definitely excited to just start really getting content it's been a struggle for me to get content up on sundays and that's like the day where my computer was just like in a fritz like every time i turned around it would freeze and like after 10 times of trying i just would give up so yeah this was definitely an investment and um i'm definitely happy with my purchase and I absolutely, I can't, I'm about to open it now. Now that I got it, I'm about to open it. I actually have one that I use for work that's the same color. So I'm gonna have to try not to get them mixed up because you already know how that goes. But I'm gonna start leaving the one that I have at, for work at work. And I'm just gonna use this one at home so I don't get them like all mixed up. But anyway, yeah, we got a new computer. And just know I'm gonna be rolling our content because the camera that I'm filming on right now is fairly new. So that's already been good. Like it films 4k that's all i need and so it was, it's been a computer thing for me for like years now this is not my first channel if you guys didn't know i have a beauty channel uh alexis on way so yeah i've been dealing with computer issues for some years now so hopefully this clears this all up and i'm finally able to just roll out content like i want i have been dreaming of uh and also do business stuff too because i still have my business sis and it's very important to be able to like do work you know like and now I don't have to be worried about, like, it's a computer that's not mine that I'm working on. Like, this is my baby. This is my little, you know, little gift to myself. So, early gift to myself. Cause it's, but I feel like I'm always gifting myself, so... <laughs> Today is 
is a Wednesday. I had to literally ask Michael what day is it because, man, I am exhausted. As y'all can see this morning, I was moving around. That is my daily routine. <laughs> literally daily routine. It's crazy. Right now, I'm sitting outside of work. And I'm about to get ready and go in, but I want to throw some makeup literally something under my eyes because i feel like when i don't apply makeup it shows how tired i am and during the week i just be like so so tired so it's like really important that i put something under my eyes because i feel like because every time i don't people be like oh you look tired girl i don't need you seeing my stuff like in my business anyway so i do the quickest makeup routine it's not even i don't even i wouldn't even call it a routine because literally i apply one product <laughs> so in the morning, I I have one at a uh, home that I keep like at home, and then I also have this one I keep in my bag. But it's the Wet n Wild uh, concealer, Photo Focus. You can literally pick this up from Walgreens, CVS, whatever drugstore, and I like it because it's liquidy enough to move around, but it's also like it helps cover like my bags. I feel like. You can't really see them right now but girl if you see them in person it's like a line right here yeah like i don't know i feel like the way i turn but like if i look close like you could see them bags anyway so what i like to do in the morning so i can like make myself look <sighs> i do like a really quick makeup routine so i just take some of this and just throw it under my eyes real quick around my nose because i don't know if y'all saw that black line and then on this side as well too and then right here, because I'm waiting on this little bump that I had bust to like clear up. So until then, we just like color cover it up with some concealer. I then take this Real Techniques brush and I just go in and literally dab this out. And now, even though I applied it only to here, I do it my eyes too, because my lids are like dark. And I feel like if I don't get those, then it looks like I didn't even try so I just tap this out I forgot what oh this is the expert face brush I like it because it's small enough to fit in my little small makeup bag that I keep in my work bag and it just like works you know so look how like big of a difference like it's such a small difference but I tell you man I tell you it makes a difference when going into work no one says I'm tired but like, look, it literally looks like I have no makeup on. I'm breaking out because I need to switch out my mask. Be and I've been wearing this mask. And you see how like it got like a little bit of like the makeup that I be putting here on it. So I think it's starting to get on my face. So for powder, what I'll go and do is I'll either use this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Or I'll go and use this Sephora Micro Smooth just to set it. Because if I don't, then it'll move. And then you know how that it's like you didn't even do anything. So... I'll take the same brush and dab it and put it on here, right up under the eye. And on the lids as well too. And then in that little spot that I apply that stuff to. All right. Now if I'm feeling a little fancy, I'll go in and well, a lot of times I'll have a eyebrow pencil in here and I'll go and fill in my brows if I'm feeling fancy. So I just take this micro brow brow micro brow pro micro by Rimmel London and I literally just brush up my brows with it because my brows are really small so I feel like when I don't apply anything to them they just look like nothing's on my face. So I literally just take this through one good time make it look like I just have thicker brows. I feel like when you brush your brows up, it makes your brows look fuller. So, yas. That's it, see, nothing. And then, I like to go in with the last, last two things, and that is lip gloss and mascara. The lip gloss, cause my lips stay dry. I know y'all be saying it, my lips stay dry. I need to drink some more water. Lastly, I go in with this Benefit Magnet um, mascara. It's literally my favorite. I mean, on the eyelash, on my eyelashes. Because I want to make sure, like, make it look like I didn't do anything. I don't apply it to the bottoms. I just leave like it, like you know, fresh face. You know, that's how I want my 
that's how I want to look every single day. Oh, I forgot I had this brow micro filling pen. This one is one that has like those three ridges on it. I'm going to take that and throw that on my brows as well too. This one really helps your like brows go up. Because it has like the line, the way the brush bristles are made. It really does give you that effect. But the Rimmel London one is actually darker. This is not dark enough. Even though it's my deep brown uh, color. Anyway, so that is my makeup routine, y'all. Look how like fresh face I look. I don't look like I just rolled out of bed. I look like I tried just a tad bit. Um, but it doesn't look like, you know, mm, just look like I got really good skin. And that's what I go for every single day because who really got time to be putting on all those layers in the morning? I know I don't. Y'all saw what all I did this morning. Barely had, like literally got dressed and walked out the door okay so <laughs> i don't even have time to chill in the morning time so this is what i like to do before i go in so yeah hey y'all so i'm trying to think back to what you last saw i went to the gym this morning and got a little quick workout in you know what i just want to say real quick i'm so mad because people don't understand social distancing and it's really starting to get to me because i feel like as these numbers go up people should really be wanting to keep their distance and i feel like they're trying to get closer and closer and closer and that's bothering me <laughs> so for instance this morning for the past couple days i have not been able to get my uh cardio in because the treadmills instead of people being responsible and doing every other treadmill they're like trying to be next to you or like the treadmill that i so happen to choose is like halfway broken so i unable to get my workouts in so i don't know i gotta come up with another plan because i just feel like why would you want to be all up on me like i mean i mean i know this face but it's like five o'clock in the morning and i don't want to be next to nobody <laughs> i'm just saying okay Anyway, so I got something new in yesterday, and before I get dressed for work, I want to show you all because I had low expectations, but now I'm very happy that I got this in because it's so cute. So I ordered from Nasty Gal this like three-piece set. This is going to be my airport outfit for when I go on vacation. I just wanted something cute that matched from head to toe. I have some shoes coming in that I'm going to wear with you. You know, like when you arrive in whatever city or whatever you're going to, you want to look like that girl. Like you want to look like you just hopped off a private jet. So that's the look I'm going for for uh, this trip. And so I picked up like these, um, this whole three piece set, which I thought was really cool because you typically don't get all of these sold together. A lot of times they sell them by piece by piece by piece by piece by piece. And then you end up paying like so much for like just this simple set so i was really surprised that i was able to find this whole set in one together on nasty gal um so i wanted to show try it on because i have not tried it on yet i literally just got it in yesterday and i want to see how it fits my body because you know before it gets too late if i need to return it i need to be able to do so so yeah let's try it on real quick and i'll show you let me put it on real quick and i'll show you how it looks so here's the three-piece set. Again, excuse the room. I told y'all this is the packing room. So it is. this is the dressing room at this point. So it's a complete mess. But anyway, this is, the, this is the set right here. And this is how it looks on. So I can't even lie. Love the fabric of this. Let me get a little closer because I feel like if I don't get closer, you won't be able to see. This is the set. And um, it comes with like a little hood on it. So if you just want to like want to think something over your head while you're traveling you can so the things that i love about this i love the material I had low expectations about the material but i'm glad that it was like it's very good material love that i don't actually have to wear a bra with this because they have this extra lining that actually covers you right here it kind of stops short i don't even know if you can see it but it literally covers the boobs so this size looks like it works for me because it literally protects them like perfectly so you can't see through it only thing that i am concerned about is the pants so let me turn you guys down a little bit love that it's a set that it's all matchy but i don't know if you could tell right here you can see the pockets and i feel like if i would have got this in a different color maybe i wouldn't have to deal with this but the fact that you can see the pockets just lets you know that in the back you'll be able to see 
my panty line. And so when you have the jacket on, you have it like this, you can't see it. So it's like, I mean, I'm not worried. Like I kind of like, I'm actually okay because the jacket covers my entire butt. So until I take the jacket off, then that's when it'll be a problem. But I mean, this jacket is super light, so I don't plan to take it off. Um, you know, up until I change, I feel like I could like, I'll be fine. You know, it'll be a little warm, but I'll be fine. My, if anything, I'll just take the jacket off once I get off the plane. If it's super hot, because that's typically how these places are. They're super hot. I'll just take it off. And what I'll do is I'll go like, you know, kind of like how I was in like grade school where I used to like do one of these numbers and then we're good to go. Then I got like a little chic look. So I love the whole two, three piece set. I think that this is the perfect airport outfit. It has pockets. It's such a cute little outfit and I can't wait to wear it. I was looking for white and I'm glad. This is like an off white. It's not like stark white, but it's still pretty cute. So yeah, all right. So next, I got something in yesterday. I need to organize this room. So, also yesterday, I got in this new ascent, and I am so happy because I have been wanting this for a while now. It's been like on my wish list, and you honestly, this is probably one of the cheaper ones that are on my wish list. So I'm like very excited to have it you know perfumes I, are very expensive now and so the fact that this was like under a hundred dollars i was like yes i have to have it i actually bought this for my mom on her birthday and didn't even know i smelled i just bought her something because it was chloe bought it for her smelled it on her absolutely loved it and since then it's been on my list to get so this is one of those fragrance that, fragrances that really does stand out. I'm trying to take it out of the box so you can see. It's so cute. The bottle is so luxurious. Love how it has the little bow on there. Let me see. I wish I, oh, it smells so grown. Like if you're looking for like a real, not mature, because I feel like mature is like old, like is giving you like old vibes. This is not that. Like I feel like in my personal opinion, Chanel perfumes are very mature. Like you have to be like, you have to like those things. This is very like, I'm living my life. I am living free. Don't mess with me. That type of scent. Um, I don't know. It's not until you smell it where you just automatically feel grown and sexy. Like I feel like this is grown and sexy. Like <laughs> period. Love it. It's. I haven't even sprayed it. It smells so good. I'm so mad that I have on another perfume. I have on the Jador Adore perfume. I think that's what it's called. I have that one on this morning and I forgot I forgot that I wanted to like spray this on. But at this point, I don't even have to because smelling the bottle that I have never even sprayed before smells so freaking good. Let me tell you what's in this one because I guess that's what, I don't know. You know that makes the difference on everything. Oh, I want more. Like, <laughs> that's how this scent is so the product details so this has peony rose honey and cedarwood so it has like those sweet scents but then it like kind of muskies i don't even know if that's a word it kind of musks up with the cedarwood so it gives you like that woody percent oh my gosh it is so good like you got like if you've been looking to get a perfume that's gonna last all day man get this one Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I recently learned that to keep your perfume lasting longer on your skin all day, the tip that no one shared with me just figured this out. Well, just found this out that if you apply baby oil first, like regular baby oil to your skin first, then go and apply your perfume, your perfume will last all day. Now this one, I smelled it on my mom. It literally lasts all day without having to do that, but I've heard the key to any perfume staying all day, and I've been trying this lately, and it works, is applying baby oil or Vaseline in the areas that you want to apply your perfume, and it will last all day. Promise me, thank me later, girl. You're going to love it. So, yes, <laughs> that is all for this haul. I don't know if I'm even going to get back on here, but if I don't, thank you all for watching, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.